heck was that? This is great. The couple's fighting again. The couple's fighting again. <laughs> Can you drive the boat and look, look what's going on over there? Are you guys going to go to counseling or are you just not? <laughs> like he's not even worried about driving the boat. Did you ever <laughs> see somebody on tie the boat without asking Captain if they want to untie the boat? He's already T boning a body. If you were over there, not back here, we would be on our way. You two. I've never even seen that. You two need to go to counseling. Yeah. Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Mark here, the kid. Kid Coach Chiefs Outdoors. I am down. Alright, today's episode, what is it? We're mojoing. What's a mojo? Stand by. This is one right here, Coach Chiefs. That's where the mojo is. Alright, we go through that. Whose mojo is it? It's Maja's. What else? Who else would I be using? Right? I don't use anybody else's mojos. Why? Because I'm a Maja guy, right? Maja products, no joke. Alright. So what we're doing here, I want to welcome you to this episode. We're going to start it off. It got real weird that beginning right there. I don't know why I opened this up like that with that little weird sound with the bourbon. I don't know. I just think I was doing it for my con men. They always drink bourbon. They always make comments about me with bourbon. You know I love the con. And if I got to throw a couple of bourbons out to my peeps out there, my homies, that's what I'll do. God bless you all. I have a bourbon for the kid, by the way. What am I wearing right here? Marine Corps, how you doing? Why am I wearing this? Do I have any business wearing this? Back in the day, I used to run a big freaking charity for them so the marines love me back in the day and they always gave me presents and i happen to like this shirt a lot all my marines out there simplify baby all right i would have joined the marine corps but i was in the leo when i was 20 years old bro Carry on. all right but i love the military you guys know that i hope you all do as well and uh, without our military we're nobody i'm not gonna go crazy on this video all right I love the military. I'm going to leave it just at that right there. And I want to thank the Corps, Marine Corps, that is, for giving me this shirt that I've had forever and I wear it a lot. I am dumb. What we're doing, we are dragging mojos, looking for fish to eat. That's what we're doing. All right. We're dying to go out there and do some tuna fishing. All right. You guys see behind me right there, I got a lot of stuff from Pelagic. Got a stack of Saragossas right there. If we could make a poor guy poorer. So where are we going with this? Mojos. We're getting some mojos after this first fish right now. Who's gonna catch it? Club show with Kenny. He's on. Fish, fish. Fish, fish. Oh, it's a fish. This is so. This is so. It's a fish. It's exciting. Whoa. Oh, boy. We knew we were going to catch that text, didn't we? Damn right we did. Leg up, I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's doing the old... Uh, the Charles Bronson. No, it's the freaking uh, Captain Morgan. <laughs> oh, Michael? I just got bumped. I was going to say, you probably will get bumped. Look, we got clubs over here. So strong. He's so handsome. So you guys going to counseling what? Don't know why he just doesn't listen. He's not used to catching a fish. Text what? Well, well, he catches that. Why don't you show what you got there? A lot of. Oh, we got we got muck. A lot of muck. That's a good fish here, close to this guy, by the way. Game for Kenny. He's so good at this, too. Uh, did you go to school to learn? Did, did you go to the Maja Academy? We used to catch them these without the rod. Oh, like, spear fishing? No, just a reel with a broken rod. Oh, oh yeah, he's still alive. Oh, you tuna days. Those fish are exactly where we expected them to be. Yeah, this, this, this is a legit fish. Do you want me to drop it down? This. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. You're good, Mark. I mean, if you want, he's he knows how to fight. Yeah. So, so should I just take it? Oh, this, um, neutral. Yeah, neutral. She, this fish is no yeah, joke, though, Michael. I don't want to not. Listen, I think it's too big, but this fish is no joke. <laughs> you think it's a joke? There's you nothing. Think there's anything funny about this? There's nothing no funny about this. This fish is no joke. He keeps fighting me. I think this is just He's coming in and now he's not. Yeah. No, he's not. He's, he's not happy. He's a legit fish. 
I can give you. Up. <laughs> Come on, just be two fish. Two thirty. Oh, that would be a whole run. Thirty-five inch fish. Bro, I'll take two thirty. Two thirties would be no, a W. We gotta bring out the full. We the back down on this. Two thirties. What did you say? I told you. I, I said the big guys will bite in this chop. Plays and play haters. I didn't say the big guy's gonna bite this chop. I think Clubster is gonna be on the receiving end of this because this, this is a nightmare for him right now. I gotta straighten the boat out. Poor guy. Oh my heart. Damn, this thing's out there, bro. Hey, this is like, right? I mean, you're not being a wuss either. This has got to be a decent fish. <laughs> I don't want to give you neutral because I'm afraid to, you know, take any pressure off this. You know, I neutral can, now. I don't give f it up now. Don't screw it up. So just give him neutral. Yeah, give him neutral. All right. He's, he's Tex wants to give him neutral. We're gonna if give he him loses, this. it's his fault. Yeah. I personally wouldn't go neutral. All right, let me explain this really quick. Why do I keep saying neutral? Why do I keep saying tech neutral, neutral, no neutral? It's a decision you make as a captain, all right? You want to take that thing out of neutral and pull pressure off that fish. It's really not a smart move when you're dragging, all right? Especially if you're dragging wire. You really don't want to keep that thing out of neutral because you want to keep pressure on that thing so the boat's going to keep pressure for the angler on there, all right? It's a decision you make. You lose a fish if you take it out sometimes, all right? That's why we keep saying neutral, no neutral. Rule of thumb, you keep the damn thing in gear at all times and you reel that thing in. All right, because you have wide, no stretch. You want to always have pressure on the fish. All right, let's get back. This fish is big. This fish is big, man. Where do you want me, Mark? I gotta. You gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. Jump. Is he foul hooked or something? Is he foul hooked? Foul hooked. No, he's something in the mouth. He's a great. Is he a blue? It's an eater, right? Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> That's, oh, that's good. an eater. That's good. <laughs> Bro, that's this could be money right here. Oh, come on. Can you get two? That would be so great if you got two fish here. That's a great fish right there. I know. Hold on. Michael, whip that, that one over your head. Uh-uh. Just reel up for a half. Oh, shit. Come to me, Ken. Reel. Double net him. Double net him, No, huh? no, no. Oh, boy. That's a big one. The second now, one's big. Just, just walk. Mark, you got to get the... All right. Can you give Mark the rod, maybe? Or... No, I got it. Just pull the lead in, Mark. Jeez, you almost took my face on you, sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, terrific. Can you give me the rod and pull That's the lead in, Mike? I got the rod. I got the rod. Grab the leader. <laughs> All right, be nice with that fish. She's got to go back. Hold it. Let's get that fish. Oh my gosh. That is an enormous fish. You deal with that kind of Oh my god. 42 and a half. Kenny, hold on for that bit. All right, yep. Just hold the bite. Which one? This one? Yeah, one's fish back in the water. You got the dog, come up. Dorsal fin's starting to come up. It's starting to swim, I can see it's starting to swim. No, she's coming along. She's starting yep, to fight down. She's fighting down? Yeah, I see it. Yep, perfect. All right, let's see where she goes. Go ahead. What do you think? Good? Perfect. Fucking A, bro. I nice kick off. Hell yes, she kicked off beautifully. Kicked off beautifully. Excellent. All right, there you go. Two for one. One goes to heaven and one goes into the ice box like Walt Disney, all right? Now we're gonna go back to Tex right now. He's into another one. Look at the kids tricking him to carry Rose. <laughs> yeah, he's starting to wake up. He's starting to wake up. Yes, he is. I gotta get the Club show, do that. When I call for a net, baby, you just hook us up, man. You see it, right? It's up there. Yep. You're not, we're good for now. But Uh, yeah, I got it. What's that? You got it. Yeah. Wanna jump in there? I know, right? Could you imagine? Yeah. 
he doesn't go playing though. You gotta no, give him no. credit. He's a, he's a gentleman. Yay for you! Yeah, he's a professional. Well, he's got the Grundens on. He's got that on his leg. That's yeah, nice. Cool. What's that? He's all swagged up. This guy's gonna make it to the dance. Don't kid yourself. To the dance? Yeah, he'll make it to the dance. He's gonna be Walt Disney. I hope so. Because I need you to catch and cook for the freaking hunter. I need strength fast. Quick, you got a minute to get this fish in. You got Kenny working the deck. You got a massive fish. I'm officially off. The first one is massive. Club Show have pulled in a double, a 42 inch fish, and a 30, 30. 30 inch fish on one tandem mojo. And Tex the, now uh, is on. And he's got a couple more minutes, so I have to cut this thing short. So. I'm gonna give you neutral, alright? Yeah. Neutral. We're in neutral. I'm gonna try to bring it on this side, Ken. Oh, yeah. Oh, you gotta hand it. You gotta. It's a lot of shit you gotta do. Once it goes. Oh, my God. Now it's all you, Kenny. Way too big. It looks short. That's easy. Easy 39 inches. All day long 39 inches. All day long 39 inches. Okay, put it on the deck. Put it on the deck. Quick release. She's really good. She's real fresh though. Let's get it. Watch yourself. Same 39 inches. Go, no, go here. Hold on. Keep her. 39. 39 inches on the button. <laughs> this, this fish is ready to go back right yep. away. Beautiful. There you go, there's Tex right there with a nice fish. What are we doing now? What, what exactly, how are we catching the fish and what are we using? These are mojos. I'm gonna show you what mojo is. Right there, ladies and gentlemen, that is a mojo, all right? Basically, all it is is a shad body and a bucktail on steroids. That's basically what it is, all right? This is a single. This is the Masha double mojos, okay? And it's called the tandem, all right? The tandems right now, they come with the tandem rig, the mono tandem rig, and what that consists of is a, uh, a three-way, two snap swivels for each mojo, and I'll show you what that is. Basically, what it is is the tandems, and the good thing about the damn these things are so short. The good thing about the tandems and what we're using today is we're using tandems, right? We're using one tandem has a shorter line, and the other one's a long line. The long line will get the lighter mojo, and that's the trailing mojo. It goes for much further back. And then the other mojo was the short line, and that's the heavy one that brings it down. This guy's down here, and this guy's trailing way behind him. Okay, this is the other mojo. All right, and that's what's going to happen. Three-way drop straight down. Three-way is probably up here somewhere going up to your rod. This guy's down, and they're coming through the water column. What gets hit most? Mostly the trailer, in my experience. The trailer usually gets whacked the most, probably because it flows a lot easier and doesn't have as much drag as the heavy one. That's my opinion. So that's basically it. Heavy one goes on the short. The lighter one goes on the long, and you're dropping it through the column. Yeah, but how deep, kid? <laughs> exactly. How far do you drop them? That's a million-dollar question right now. Let's go to this one. Let's just go to a solo one because it's it's the same applies with the tandem, but we're gonna go solo, all right? Basically what you're gonna do, you guys out in the ocean, the South Shore, you have no really obstructions where you're gonna be fishing. I mean, if you're fishing the reefs and stuff like that, you stay off the reef and you deploy and then you come into the reef, all right? So if the reef is here and everything around is just barren bottom, flat bottom, you could touch bottom and, and then as you approach the reef, reef you know it you're at the right height basically what i'm going to tell you right now is you ocean guys south shore ocean guys jersey guys i'm not telling you that what you don't know it's the triple drop right the triple drop is basically you're going to have the captain running the boat and he's going to say do three miles an hour as he's running you guys will be in the back of the boat deploying he'll say deploy and what's going to happen is you're going to just let this thing go out it's going to go out in the current with the speed of the boat and then ultimately it's going to hit bottom boom what you do is when that taps bottom you'll feel it. you can't not feel it all right you're just going to stop the rod you're going to lock it up and what happens is as you lock that up this gets pulled back let's go in this direction as that as you hit bottom 
and you stop the rod, this wants to get pulled back up into the column. All right, that's what happens. All right, so as it ha as that happens, you're going to hold it probably at least 10 seconds. All right, 10 a nice 10 second slow count. Boom, 10 seconds. And what you're going to do is now open it up again and hit bottom again. As you do that, you're scoping out more. All right, it hits bottom again. Instead of being up here the first time, boom, it comes here the second time. All right. And then the third time is, is down. All right, so then you lock in on the third time. You don't you don't want this dragon bottom. So you can drop it in the second drop. You can keep it up there and keep it right at the bottom as it comes through the water column. This thing is ripping down when these fish are low. All right, you're gonna mark them low. This is gonna come right through them at that at that depth. So if you're looking at your machine and the machine's showing fish up high, obviously you're not gonna drop down. These fish again, I always tell you guys this: striped bass feet upward. All right, their eyes are slightly. Point it upward. I'm going to show you with this guy. So their eyes will kind of be like this, looking upward, all right? So if, if this is running behind them or below them, they ain't going to see it. This is not going to happen. So if this if this is under, they're up here looking upward, and you have this thing down too low in the column, they're not even going to see it, all right? It has to be above them, all right? They can see the stuff silhouetted in the sun, in the sun and they're going to come up and say low to it, especially with this tail, all right? This tail is killer. With that, you always have to have this, though. Always carry these bad boys around. At least a couple back up. And really doesn't make a difference what color it is. I mean, if you if you're running if you're running whites and actually you know you just lost your white freaking shad, throw a pink one. It's not gonna really make a difference. You know, throw a pink one off. If you have a white one, replace it with the white. But if you don't, don't go nuts that you don't have enough whites or whatever. Just interchange them. They're gonna work just as well. Alright? So that's what they're doing. These fish are feeding up. So when you're running in the ocean, you're looking at these things and they're freaking low in the column. You say, yo, I got to hit. I'm going to do a triple drop. If you're on your boat, you're going to say, all right, let's do a triple drop. I see, I'm, walk, I'm walking fish, but they're really low in the column. So do a triple drop. Boom. All right. And you know you're going to be down here on that triple drop. If you see they're up a bit, do a double drop. If they see them way up, do a single drop. You feel me? So work that way up. If you think they're up too high, then just do it. Like they just drop out 100 feet. So you're going to have to really know where you are. But the rule of thumb, if you need to get down low, do a triple drop, and she's going to run across the bottom low. I guess the bass are usually low. But when they're up feeding at the end of the day or the beginning of the day, they could come up high. So just take note of that. Always trust your machine. I say this a million times. It's like a broken record on my videos. But watch your machine. Always look at that machine. Watch where those fish are staging the column and put this big boy right past them. All right? North Shore guys, same shiitake. You got to watch your stuff because we got tons of structure and you cannot top bottom, tap bottom with this. What do you do with that? You're going to throw out. You could still use those heavies, no doubt about it. But easy one is do a tandem with a lighter. This is an eight ounce, four ounce. So that's an easy one that will just drop in the column just a little bit. And when those fish are up in the column, say they're at 30 feet where they usually are lately, where they've been up in the column 30 feet, you'll pull that stuff right past them, okay? That's it. All right, also what we need to know that cats, and this, this is all for new jacks. In the video you're seeing us now whacking these fishes, we're running wire with mojos. Why? Because I'm getting down deeper and I'm not putting out as much. This is cheap as heck. I'm not sponsored by these guys at all, but this is a uh, a cheap $100 reel. This rod right here is Maja's mojo rod, all right? See for yourself, the Tony Maja Mojo Rod. Why is this rod cherry vanilla? Because it matches the other one. It has the old school wraps. But watch that drag. You can see this drag is on this is zero drag. Because every rod I put away, take the drag off. All right? That's another video. But this is 50 pound test on the top shot to 50 pound brave. All right. And these are the rods we're going to do. So we'll run two mojo rods. We'll run two wire rods when we're fishing. I'm not saying that you have to have masha rods. It's just simple that way. You know, when you're going out there and you're dragging, just have this stuff squared away. Don't make a mix of crap and just all different things. Keep it consistent so your anglers on your boat know what the heck's going on. And that, hey, what do you do with this rod? I mean, you have five different rods. How much on this rod? How much on... Everything's the same. I run 300 feet of wire, 50-pound test wire on both rods. So I know exactly they're both the same. And then the uh, mojo rods are set the same way as well. All right, just keep it simple. Just so you people on your boat don't get mixed up and don't know what the heck's happening. You don't have to take the time to say, hey, now that rod gets this and that rod gets this and that rod gets that. You send them signals, pal. Keep it simple, stupid. That's what I am. I'm not that sharp. All right? So I try to keep it as simple as possible. I know where I'm sending all my gear out, and that's that. There are a million different people that make mojos on it. This is Maja's mojo head. I'll just show it to you. And what's cool about Maja's mojo head, that's it right there. This thing's coming through the water column. Obviously, as it hits the resistance of water, this all comes back and looks sexy. It's not looking sexy right now. 
but it looks really, really enticing to fish, especially with the paddle tail shad here. It's really whipping through the column. You just put it over the boat, and as you're moving, you see the thing really moving well. Maja has this head right here, and that's his mold. And what's cool about this mold is that how it's weighted, all right? It's all bottom weighted, so it doesn't sit sideways. I can't do anything right. It's always going to be true. It always comes through the column true, all right? Because obviously, the weight on the bottom will make it sit like that as you're dragging it, all right? There's no other way for this to get dragged but properly, all right? There's your hook coming across the top, and it's coming through the column. Scary monsters can come up and say a little bit, all right? So that's a Maja Mojo. There are a bunch of different Mojos out there. But again, make sure you get quality stuff. You don't want the hook to go bad. You want your shads to be right. You want the heads to be right. Are the eyes important? If an eye pops off, who cares? Sammy Davis, then. You pretend if it's only one eye on the Mojo, call that thing Sammy Davis. All right? All right? All right? So let's go back now. What we got? Another fish coming here? Who's got it? Me? Text? Who knows? Who is it? Let's find out. Mark, why don't you go to the con shatter right now? Texas calling for a con shatter? Con shatter it is. Who is it? It's Flyboy, Cherry Piscucci. That's Italian for you Italians out there, right? But Jerry's out there with our friend Captain Dave. They're throwing flies around, mess with freaking striped bass and bluefish, all right? Jerry, guess the fish made a mooch. He probably knows that because he's one of my Italians, all right? Jerry, congratulations on your con shot out there, pal. Now, where we going? United States Marine Corps, right? That's what this episode's about, the Marine Corps. Who we got? Seth Jordan, right there, Marine Corps. And I believe this is Seth's boy, Ryan Garvey, over here. and He's got a nice striped bass. But more importantly, my boy Seth. He's retired United States Marine Corps, case of Dish Man and Mooch, Ura, Simplify, all that other jazz right there. But more importantly, here's a couple of glamour shots of Seth over there. United States Marine Corps, Afghanistan, saying how you're doing to the enemy, all right? Don't make me go over there, too, because I will unleash the guns of Navarone. They made a movie about the guns of Navarone, I have you know. I don't even know if that was the Marine Corps that did it, but I don't even know if it was eh, whatever. It's not important. Jerry, Seth, Ryan, congratulations for being this week's con oh, shadow of the week. I'll fire this thing. All right, I just did. I'll fire it again. You know, ladies, that one was for you. All right, so let's keep this rolling. It's it tugging? Pulling, tug. I'm like, really got this fishing pretty quickly. I think oh, jeez. Can you net that, babe? Tex, you really think Kenny should net? God, this could be what we want. It is so perfect. Uh, so perfect, he says. Perfect. I feel so perfect. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think that's too big. Too big. Too big. The, uh... <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, Club Soda Kenny just tried to choke me out on that one right there. He didn't want that freaking footage of his uh, netting job to air. Well, thank God on the editor. TJ Hooker here. We're going to go to con shout out number two. There you go. TJ Hook is coming in there. Cut me off. All right. He wants a con shout out number two. Where am I going? You know where I'm going. I'm going straight over to Howard Beach to my peeps, Jess and Josh. Over on the gypsy, all right. I'm gonna do a quick little musical right there. It's a couple of clients whacking some fluke. Reach out to Captain Josh in the description below. Get over there, get on the gypsy. Josh and Jess are out there, always whacking fish, all right. Probably one of my favorite head boats out there and it's a new boat this year it's awesome i congratulate them on that get out there catch fish they're always catching fish follow them on instagram too i'm putting it right there all right gypsy charters the best case of dish made a mooch club soda kings will take the sound of the last fish why because i busted his bean bag a little bit all right club soda start reeling huh? is that general chow's hopefully so we can get some fluke yeah. Folks, catch a fluke on the North Shore is almost like catching a unicorn. At least keepers, that is. A lot of shorts, but keepers were very hard to come by so far. Here's a couple of them. Didn't get them on video that trip, but a couple of nice fish. Hey, Don. Oh, Ooh. 
His name is Kenny. I sing Kenny Ken. He's wearing Grundens. <laughs> Michael's taking a shiitake long time doing what he's supposed to be doing. Here. What kind of imbecile deck was he? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of imbecile? It's the Mark Gary uh, technique. It is a great technique. I got a half hour. Work smaller than not harder. That's, mm -hmm. my, that's my theory. And then we'll go back to Club Soda. I do. Good technique with the thumb. Always got to put that freaking line on right, or else he gets kicked right in the privets. <laughs> right there. What the? Uh, uh. Texas in on his homemade umbrella rig. Oh yeah, let me throw this in there. Wahoo fishing gear, right there. Say hello to them. The heavy one, this is not good. I almost feel like giving him a break and putting this thing in neutral. This fish is heavy. So did you think you were gonna catch this many fish today? I did. Oh, you did? I did. Okay, there you go. The hell you don't wanna go out thinking you're not gonna catch any fish. Yeah, no, that's not my, uh, that's not a deal yet. You just wanna think that, whoa. This is a big fish, Michael. Don't it? What do you like about this bucket when he leaves it right on the deck here? This bucket's so aggravating, right? Eh? Why? Because you step into it every time. At least throw it up here and get it the hell out of the way. Oh, he's plugging tackle the wreck. What do you say about your friends over at Tackle the Wreck, by the way? I love that kid. What's it? What was that I kid? I forget name? his name, but he was a nice young man. He wasn't a young man. He was a young man. He was age appropriate. <laughs> and he, he had a swimmer's build, right? Yeah, oh God. Oh, close show. Look hey, at Tex. Look at, at me. Look at Tex. Tex knows uh, when to grip. Oh, maybe this is close, Kenny. I think he's just tired. That's why he's. I'm going to neutral. I'm going. This could be. Oh. It's a double header. Is it a double header? Yeah. Uh, this General Chow's? No, he's too big. Definitely yep. too big. Ugh. Damn it. God. Why do you have to catch all big ones? You know what? Why don't we just don't even net it? Just he's too big. Right? Way too big. There you go, players. Another one. Way too big. Man, did it take us a while to catch a couple of slot fish. We needed three slot fish today to take home to eat. We got them, but we had to cull through a lot of big fish. We got those big fish back in the water as fast as we can. Took care of them the best we could. Got them revived and back to freaking go do their thing. All right. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and got a little tip out of something there. You guys know my episodes are weird. That's just my channel. It's different than other people's channels. I got to admit it. If you guys enjoy that content, please make a comment, like, do all that stuff, subscribe, hit the bell. Hopefully YouTube plays nice and lets you guys get your notifications because a lot of these aren't, all right? But that's what it is. That's the world we live in. Not a big deal. We'll just keep going with it, all right? Uh, this week, tomorrow that is, we are going to fish Operation Real Heroes. I'll be over there fishing with Captain Kevin on the bad fish. And then uh, Maja will be fishing as well with Captain Sean, the port of call charters. And Captain Sean right here, as you can see this thing playing next to me, Captain Sean does a kid's camp. And uh, it's cool to get your kids involved in fishing. All right, if you don't have a boat, go to Captain Sean's Instagram page. He'll tell you how to get to uh, the kid's camp if you're interested. All right, so take care, everybody. Brush your head. Thanks for watching this kid's episode. All right, God bless you all. Stay in God's grace. Kiss a dish, may I'm out.